In this video, we're going to have a look at how to add and subtract algebraic fractions. Now, you'll know anyway that you can only add or subtract fractions if the denominators are the same. So, you'll find that the process for algebraic fractions is just basically the same as what you would do for ordinary numerical fractions. So, let's have a look at a few examples and let's uh, talk you through them and see how we get on. Okay, so the first couple we'll look at will have numerical denominators. And then we'll look at some which have algebraic denominators. Okay, so let's look at x plus 3 over 2 plus x plus 2 over 3. Now, you want to write each of your fractions uh, so that you've got a common denominator. And what you're going to do is to get your new denominator, you're going to just look at the two denominators you've got and you're going to multiply them together. Okay, so 2 times 3 gives you 6. And you say, well, what have I done to this fraction to get a denominator of 6? And all you've done is you've multiplied by 3. So you end up with 3 lots of x plus 3. And for this one, what have you done to your uh, fraction to end up with a denominator of 6? You've multiplied it by 2. So now that we have our common denominator, we can gather everything together over that. So 3 brackets x plus 3 becomes 3x plus 9. And you add to that 2 lots of x plus 2, which is 2x plus 4. Finish it off, what have you got on the top? You have 5x plus 13, and it's all over 6. Okay? Always check to see if you can simplify your answer. In this case, we can't, so that says finished. Okay? Let's have a look at another one. <coughs> You've got 3u minus 1 uh, over 4. And you're taking away from that 2u minus 1 over 5. Again, common denominator will be this time 20, because 4 times 5 is 20. This first fraction, everything's been multiplied by 5, because 4 fives are 20. So you multiply the top by 5. So 5 lots of 3u minus 1. This second fraction, everything's been multiplied by 4. Because 4 fives are 20, so it's 4 lots of 2u minus 1. You've got your common denominator, so now you, all you have to do is collect everything on top of the 20. Now, 5 lots of 3u minus 1, that's just 15u minus 5. And you're taking away from that, I'm going to leave it in brackets, you're going to take away 8u minus 4. So tidying that up, remember you're taking away 8u and then you're taking away negative 4, so you're adding the 4 if you like. So you have 15u minus 8u, which is 7u, minus 5 plus 4, negative 1. So that's 7u minus 1 over 20, and we can't simplify any further. Okay? Now, for our third example, we're going to look at uh, fractions which have an algebraic denominator. So we'll look at 3 over x plus 2. And we'll add to that 2 over x plus 1. Your approach is the same. To get your new denominator, all you're going to do is just multiply the 2 that you've got. So you end up with a product, which in this case is x plus 2, multiplied by x plus 1. Okay, so what have we done to this first fraction? Well, everything has been multiplied by x plus 1. So we've got to write that as 3 lots of x plus 1. What have we done to this one? Well, everything gets multiplied by x plus 2. So it's 2 lots of x plus 2. Now that you've done that, tidy up the top. You end up with 3x plus 3. And you add to that 2x plus 4. And you end up on the bottom with x plus 2 times x plus 1. Now the top simplifies to give you 5x plus 7. And on the bottom, we can multiply it out if we like, because nothing's going to simplify. So it's x squared plus 3x plus 2. And that's you finished. Okay? One more example, then we'll do a few questions ourselves. Qu uh, example 4, the 5 over x plus 2. And you're taking away from that 3 over x plus 1. <clears throat> okay, so your new denominator is going to be x plus 2. 
over x plus 1. What have we done, done to this? You've multiplied everything by x plus 1, so you write it as 5 lots of x plus 1. What have we done to this? Everything's been multiplied by x plus 2, so you do the same to the top. Now, if we leave our denominator as it is just now, x plus 2 times x plus 1, multiplying the brackets, we end up, when we collect everything over this common denominator, we end up with 5x plus 5, and this gives us 3x plus 6. So you end up with 8x plus 11 on the top, and on the bottom you end up with uh, x squared plus 3x plus 2. Nothing is going to cancel out, so we'll just leave it like that. So that's how you, how you add and subtract algebraic fractions. Just get everything together over one common den denominator, and then uh, simplify if possible. Okay, let's have a look at a few examples for you to do yourselves. Okay, so we'll put up three for you. First one is v plus three over four. To that, you can add v plus one over two. The second one you can do, uh, we'll say is two over x plus four. And to that, you can add 1 over uh, x minus 2. And finally, you can have a go at a third one, which we'll say is 4 over x minus 4. And we'll take away from that 1 over x. Okay? So three questions for you to get on with yourselves. You can pause the video, attempt them, and then check back and see how you got on. Okay? So, the first question here. Your new denominator is going to be 8. Everything has been doubled here to give you a denominator of 8, so we end up with 2v plus 6. For this one, everything is multiplied by 4, so you end up with 4v plus 4. Finish it off. Tidy everything up, collect it over 8. You end up with uh, 6v plus 10. Now, Notice that there's a common factor of 2 here, and that 2 also goes into 8. So you can take that out. So you end up with 2 lots of 3v plus 5. And this is just 2 times 4. The 2's cancel out. So your final answer, fully simplified, is 3v plus 5 over 4. And that can't be simplified any further, so that's you reach the end of the road. For... The second one, your new denominator is going to be x plus 4 times x minus 2. So we've got one fraction plus another. Now, for this one, everything has been multiplied by x minus 2. So it's two lots of x minus 2. For this one, everything has been multiplied by x plus 4. So it's one lot of x plus 4. Okay, gather everything together over your new denominator, x plus 4 times x minus 2. So, you've got two lots of x minus 2, which is 2x minus 4, and to that you're adding x plus 4. So on your numerator, you're going to have, uh, or for your numerator, you're going to have 3x on its own, because the 4s cancel out. And on the bottom, you'll end up with just x squared plus 2x minus 8. Okay, x squared plus 2x minus 8. And lastly, for the third one, your new denominator is going to be the product of x and x minus 4. Everything here has been multiplied by x. So you take the 4 multiplied by x. And for this one here, everything has been multiplied by x minus 4. So it's going to be 1 lot of x minus 4. Gather everything over the same denominator. So we'll have x times x minus 4. What have we got? We've got 4x. But then you're taking away x minus 4. 
Okay, so you're taking away x minus 4. Just be careful here because you're taking away the negative 4. So 4x minus x is 3x. You're taking away negative 4. That's going to make it positive 4. And on the bottom, you're going to end up with x squared minus 4x. Nothing that cancels out. So that's you reached the end of the wood. So that's how you add and subtract uh, algebraic fractions. Make sure you write both fractions over a common denominator, which you can get just by using the product of the two denominators you've got, and then take it from there, and be sure to simplify your answer at the end if possible. Okay, so I hope that was helpful.